Ladies and gentlemen, I might be in trouble. Uh, let's get back into the command center. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> With nearly 30,000 paying subscribers and millions of followers, Dr. Disrespect was removed from Twitch last Friday with no explanation given. No explanation given by Twitch or by Dr. Disrespect. There are a lot of theories as to why this is, but ultimately it leaves a lot of customers in the lurch with no explanation why. If I were a paying member of the Champions Club, I would want to know why my money was refunded to me. I would want to know why that Twitch held my money for the past how many months and then banned this guy anyway. Twitch was fine taking their 50% cut for the past how many years and then they cut Dr. Disrespect. I argue, I in fact would think it is absolutely reasonable for people to demand an answer. By the way, I should mention, I don't only just cover video games, I cover all sorts of pop culture, movie, music, all sorts of other things. And if you happen to be watching and not subscribed yet, I hope today will be the day that you click that little red button below the video to subscribe. I'll be right here working hard to bring you all the updates as they develop. Now, Dr. Disrespect, I don't know how particularly accurate these Twitch uh, stats type websites are. So I pulled up several and we'll take a look. You know, nearly 4.5 million followers and nearly 30,000 subs. What is a sub? That's somebody that gives money, whether directly or through Twitch Prime, uh, to Twitch. We can look at this breakdown. 23,700 current subs, 12,000 paying, 10,500 Prime subs, and 3,800 gifted. This is all money that Twitch took 50% of. Every advertisement that's run on Dr. Disrespect's channel, Twitch has had a cut of. Everything Dr. Disrespect has done on Twitch has resulted in profit for Twitch. Now, people have been looking at Tim the Tapman, wondering if he knew why Dr. Disrespect was banned. And I do feel for him because if he does know and he can't say, it's got to be brutal to be disappointing your viewers. If he doesn't know, it must suck because your viewers think you do know. Um, now, Twitch star Tim, Tim the Tapman, has refused to confirm or deny that he has inside information on why Dr. Disrespect was banned on the platform. But he's made one thing clear. He's not entertaining any, quote, sources. <coughs> well, why would he? He knows. Tim the Tatman knows. And look, he's not under no obligation to share that information. Twitch is. Twitch is the one that fired him publicly, and we want to know. Why was why was this done? Don't you think those nearly 30,000 paying subscribers, okay, they want to know if they're safe to subscribe to another user on your platform, right? They want to know why Twitch, did he deserve the ban? Every day that passes, I'm starting to, it's starting to seem less likely. Now, Tim's channel, but still members of the Champion Club have been issued refunds. Doc and his channel abruptly moved on June 26th. Since then, the world's most talked about streamer right now has confirmed there's no reason given. Leaving his fan base and everybody else wondering what exactly led to such a firm action being taken. With lack of information currently available, this has led to hundreds if not thousands of users on Twitter claiming to have the inside scoop. Well, I don't think anyone does. Some like Rod Slasher Brezel have been covering the situation extensively since the news broke and claimed it wasn't due to the DMCA problem. However, others, however, sorry, have been lingering in the comments saying they know the reason why but refuse to spill the tea. They don't. On balance, nobody's really come forward with anything concrete as of yet. During a broadcast on June 29th, fan watching alongside in Tim's stream asked him to comment on the rumors of D Dr. D Disrespect's ban may finish his career. To that point, he said, I just don't think, and here's the thing, everybody keeps saying sources, 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 sources. Me, personally, I don't want to assume the worst. I'm just going to wait and see what happens. That's no offense to anyone who's making tweets about sources and all this stuff. If they want to do that, go for it. But me, personally, I'm just going to wait. 
That wasn't the only time Tim the Tatman was act asked about Dr. Disrespect during the stream, as he may have expected going live that day. Everyone wants to know what's going on with Doc and are looking for answers from sources or otherwise. In another exchange, fans put other rumors for Tim to comment. This time, they asked him about linking up with the two-time startup company, streaming company, uh, with the two-time, oh, with two-time to start up a streaming, the, ah, hooking up with the two-time to start a streaming company. He, after holding his head in his hands and smirking, he said, I'm not going to answer yes or no, but here's what I'll say to you. Based on what you know about me, a lot of you know I'm very lazy. I don't like doing work. I barely do anything. Do you think I'm going to try to create my own streaming platform? Now, he's probably been a bit on a hard on himself for being lazy. The popular figure has worked. Sure, and sure, and sure. Now, we've seen Brime now be called out. Uh, a lot of people are talking about Brime, the Brime conspiracy. Are they going to be the new... Are they going to be the new streaming platform? Hi, we're Prime here. What's one feature you'd like to see on our streaming service? That was 21 hours ago. Then the real Prime comes in and says, Hey there, Prime EU and Prime US are our official Prime handles, managed by Prime Soft Studios, which is an independent studio managed by a bunch of dorks currently working on Prime US. Please stop the misinformation and impersonation. Thank you. So maybe Brime isn't the real Brime. Maybe this Brime really just has a name situation. Meanwhile, the, you know, the thousands and thousands of paying members of the Champions Club and all the millions of fans are left in the lurch with no information as to why Twitch is banned. Dr. Disrespect, and that's absurd. New petitions have launched, yet although they've yet to gain much uh, traction, people... Still don't know. If we look at through what is the latest information on Dr. Disrespect, nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You know, everyone's going to talk about it. Everyone's talking about it. There's nothing there. We're all covering nothing. Eric Kane from Forbes, probably the best combination of things, put together a couple of interesting things saying Twitch had released basically a nothing burger statement. Great, how noble, though truth be told, Twitch does not have a particularly sterling reputation in that regard. In terms of their statement saying, as for our process, we are taking appropriate action when we have evidence that a streamer has acted in violation of community guidelines or terms of service. These apply to all streamers, regardless of status or prominence in the community. The implication was that Given the week that this was happening, Dr. Disrespect was part of some sort of me as well movement. Most of what we know so far comes from those with a few inside sources like esports journalist Rod Breslau, who you should absolutely follow. He tweeted the reason for the ban was not DMCA related and that his sources have told him the reason, but he's not comfortable sharing it publicly due to the sensitivity of the subject. Beyond this, mom's the word. But now Dr. Disrespect himself has spoken up. Twitch has notified me on the specific, has not notified me. I have some issues with this. First and foremost, this is Eric saying, it makes no sense. There are two big reasons why it makes no sense, probably several others small. One, why wait so long to tweet this very brief statement? If Twitch banned me and I was a prominent streamer and they didn't tell me why, I would be on Twitter in a flash saying so. I agree with Eric here. I wouldn't let all this mystery and gossip go wild online without the very least saying, hey, I have no idea what's going on right now and Twitch won't tell me. Beam waited a day before tweeting this. Maybe there are some extenuating circumstances for this. He was camping in some remote wilderness perhaps, but as of right now, it makes no sense. Reason two, the statement only reveals one data point, that Twitch has not told Beam why he was banned. It leaves out other big factors, such as whether or not Dr. Disrespect is aware of the reason himself. It stands to reason that whatever happened, he knows. It in seems incredibly unlikely, given reason one, that he is unaware and completely in the dark about the reasons for his ban. I agree with him. Uh, whether or not Twitch communicated this to him or uh, this to him directly, if sources are telling journalists like Breslau what's going on, surely the doctor himself is aware. Now, there was a recent update. It's been interesting to see the reaction of the post online. Some people seem to agree that it all seems rather fishy. Others people have accused me of, well, I'm not sure why. Right. Writing a terrible, lousy, no good article that somehow is attacking Dr. Disrespect or alternatively that I'm some crazy doc fan filled with dreadline apparently taken to be very literal. Others have accused me of ma masking an opinion piece as straight reporting. My blog is almost entirely opinion pieces. I mean, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. The latest we have 
is on the 30th now from Eric Kane. So it's been several days now since Dr. Disrespect's tweet above, and we've not heard a single new detail in the story. That's kind of surprising in its own right. I thought for sure by end of the day Monday, there would be more details, rumors, leaks, and yet all quiet on the Western Front. I'd agree with him here. Theory one, that this is something criminal in nature and that perhaps even the FBI is somehow involved. Though what crime is supposed to be anybody's guess? Uh, it would explain why everyone who apparently knows something is remaining so hush-hush because of it would indeed be very sensitive. On the other hand, this is exactly the kind of scenario that I can't imagine staying quiet for more than one or two days tops. Once a secret is shared, it is no longer a secret. After all, something as juicy as this would almost certainly be leaked to the press. Somebody with loose lips would have talked, and we've had a whirlwind of gossip at this point. So this very bad scenario now seems much less likely to me than it did the other day, which I suppose is a good thing. Theory two, I'd agree with him, by the way. This is Twitch simply cracking down on what they perceive as toxicity on the site. That's, that's where I'm at right now. The streaming service hasn't exactly emerged from the recent controversy looking particularly good. And it's possible that they're simply taking swift action to rid the site as of as many, quote, toxic figures as possible. While Dr. Disrespect hasn't been caught up in any of the recent allegations, he has embroiled himself in other controversies, namely sprouting off dairy, various theories uh, and about the coof and hawking ideas from a conspiracy theorist, David Icke. I would not be surprised if Twitch decided a high profile ban. Someone pushing these kinds of ideas would send a strong message and that that's all there is to it. But the fact is, as my colleague Dave Thiers argues, we may never know the whole story. Now, many people reached out to me after I, po I posted this as a possible theory that Twitch just said, hey, look, no more conspiracy theories. You know, we're getting rid of you. You know, you've been on thin ice, blah, 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 blah. We need a PR win. However, and, and many people reached out to me and said, that's actually what I think. You know, you're very close to the reason here as to why he's banned. People have insinuated that I'm close to the target with those type of comments. Um, and maybe I am. But also, uh, if that were the case, why wouldn't Twitch say so? If Twitch were to ban him for spreading bad ideas, as they might put it, why wouldn't they have said that's why? Wouldn't you want to send that message to other followers who might be spreading similar ideas that, hey, this isn't going to be okay on our platform? That's the weirdest thing about all this. Now, will Dr. Disrespect ever come out? I don't know. Will he? I mean, he's definitely not done. Uh, you know, and when I'm looking at some of his sponsors still, I, you know, I don't know. Uh, when I'm looking at the Game Fuel site, he's still here as of right now. So what am I supposed to what am I supposed to think here? Game Fuel hasn't removed him from their main banner. So maybe it is just a you know what Dr. Disrespect is the type of guy we don't want on our platform anymore, which seems absurd to me, but I think we could all agree that at minimum the paying customers are owed an explanation. Other Twitch streamers who don't want to meet the same fate as Dr. Disrespect are owed an explanation. Twitch needs to come out and tell us what's going on. If he broke some sort of rule, how are people supposed to know that they're not supposed to break it? An explanation is owed to fellow Twitch streamers, to Dr. Disrespect customers, and those not looking to make the same alleged mistakes he has. Twitch, it's time to make a statement. We're sick of waiting. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.